Didi, they have Panama next, then the group finishes against Belgium. So I suppose, look, uh, the analysis beforehand with all the pressure and all that stuff that was on England, they win this, they beat Panama, yes, so then it sets up a group decider against Belgium. Yeah, then you... Or is that... Too, am I jumping too far ahead? No, I don't. They'll, they'll be Panama and I expect... I fully expect both teams to go in the last game with six points. And then, you know, we'll probably find out which second eleven is better, Belgium's or England's. You've got the chance to rest players. Uh, does it matter whether you win the group? I think you play against the first or second team out of Colombia and Poland, Senegal's group. Um, I don't think it makes too many odds. I think this was the perfect opening game for, um, for England today. I said before, I would have rather played one of the other two yeah. teams. I think the way it panned out was perfect because you play great football for half an hour, you should be ahead, you make a, a, a silly mistake, you can see the equaliser. Of course, they are nerves when you miss so many chances. They've got a bit of a flat spot the first 15, 20 minutes of the second half. And then you push on again with uh, Loftus-Cheek and with Rashford and you show a bit more urgency and then you nick the goal towards the end. And I think for morale, it'll be, it'll be the best that could have happened because there would have been doubts in some of the players' minds whether they're good enough to play in a World Cup. I think now they've seen, we've come through it and we found a way to win the game towards the end. And if one thing, which is for sure and for certain for me, this team will only get better. It's a very young team. A lot of these players will have played the first game in a tournament. And I, I, I've got to say, I really liked what I saw tonight. And uh, I think last eight, last four, they'll be there.